traditional court uh, which is uh, walk in, walk out and uh, which uh, brings stability in uh, labor matters or enormous industrial relations machinery we have in this country is manned by this court and none of the judges that we have here as maybe because workers are poor, I don't know, has uh, come to us uh, demanding any bribe. And that's why I say that when, if I will have an opportunity to meet his excellent the president, I will kindly ask him to, uh, 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 as I support him, to, to protect our employment and labor relations court. Because it's a court that uh, is dear to me. I fought for years for the expansion of the court, uh, which was realized during President Kipaki's time. We have this court in every region, Kisumu, Eldoret, Mombasa, Nyeri, and Nakuru, because, and Kericho too, because of the trade union's demand uh, during those previous years. And uh, this is a court that protects the weak. Therefore, we will be on forefront to protect this uh, court. Protecting the court does not mean we support corruption. We support the president 100% on corruption and weeding out corruption in judiciary and other departments as well that are of public departments. Like now at the airport, there is a heavy corruption at the airport. I have brought it under the attention of the Minister of Transport, uh, Honorable Murkomen. Foreigners are asked to pay some money so that uh, they can get out with their goods at our airport. So there are specific process where corruption is bending our image as a country. I want to support the judges and was the principal judge who mentioned that we have foreigners who, who are investors and when they come here they don't adhere to our industrial relations machinery or our laws in this country, labor laws and the rest. They want to implement the laws of their origin countries which are foreign laws and which cannot be accepted in this country as we, are, as we invite both direct and indirect investment and investors themselves. We must be keen to protect our own industrial, labor, relations, machinery and systems. What has done immense work to bring industrial peace and industrial democracy and stability. The same stability has made our economy to grow and we need to continue that way. In a few years before our shilling was devalued, had been referred to as a dollar of East Africa. It is because of the industrial stability we have, it is because of the support we have given to our employers as workers, and the support we have given to government over the years to make sure that there is stability in industrial relations, we minimize strikes, we are responsible trade unions, we negotiate, uh, and now have, we have court has produced an economic paper uh, that will be presented to his extent the president as per how we can grow economy and hence uh, uh, um, uh, support uh, in, uh, uh, give workers some remuneration to make workers uh, meet the challenges, the current challenges of cost of living in this country. We have documented a paper, a very economic paper on, on issues uh, that are prevailing in the country as per how we can grow economy and uh, hence uh, compensate the lost purchasing power of our workers. I promised in my New Year speech that we will team up with the Nairobi University to produce a very, very deep, brief and short uh, economic paper or document that can be followed and we grow our economy. And it talks, it touches on issues of corruption, it touches on issues of investment, it touches on issues of how we have five thematics as to how we can grow our economy and, and, and hence uh, get out of the current uh, poverty and high cost of living in our country. But we need to be one, we need to support the government, we need to support the employers, we need to be united, we need not to be de uh, destructive. Because if we play around with our economy, with a lot of politics, we can be like our neighboring countries where there is always political strife. And in any country, the political strife, no investor will come in this country. I one of the mandates of my ministry is the promotion of harmonious industrial relations, which resonates with the court's mandate 
in terms of pursuit of justice and fairness for the labor disputes. My ministry is spearheading the process of operationalizing the alternative dispute resolution mechanism, the ADR, which will go a long way to reduce cases that are filed at the court. I also note that the ELRC is also involved in the development of rules and regulations of ADR, and I call upon the court for more collaborations. My ministry is also at the forefront in ensuring safe, orderly, and regular labor migration, where the migrant workers and members of their families are protected. With the challenges faced by the migrant workers, this training comes in handy as our judges will gain knowledge on the various international labor standards applicable to labor migration that will improve our national legal instruments and the bilateral labor agreements negotiated with various countries of destinations.